Hola, my name is Kayla, and in this video, we're gonna be bleaching my roots. Well, why, why did I say we? We're not gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna be bleaching my roots and dyeing my hair X Mondo Super Purple and Pulp Riot Fireball. As you can see, my roots are pretty long already. It's about an inch to an inch and a half. In my previous video, we did the baking soda. Why do I keep saying we, dude? I did the baking soda. <clears throat> I did the baking soda melted on my hair just to remove the previous colors that I had. Here I mixed a one-to-one -one ratio of blonde me bleach powder and its corresponding developer. I sectioned my hair down the middle and then I divided it into three sections each side. I kind of use it as my guide, start with the back at the bottom and work my way up to the front. Just making sure that I only get bleach on my roots and that I don't apply it to where it's already been bleached before because then breakage could happen. And we don't want that. I want length. Dude, and let me tell you what happened to me. The last video when I was mixing up the baking soda uh, mixture thing, I didn't even say it in the voiceover. But my f the first brush that I had ever bought... When I first started dyeing my hair, it broke while I was mixing it, bro. I guess the brush was like all crusty and it just like snapped in half. It was a chaffa ass generic brush, but it was my favorite, you know? It was it was the chiquiada, right? It was like the first brush that I'd ever bought. So it was like very special to me. And I got really sad when I broke it, but you know what? It was an excuse to upgrade. Like now I got this from our, from our frame mark. I don't know how to pronounce it. I say fr frame mark sometimes but it's beast it's a pintail brush so it makes it easier to part my hair whenever i'm bleaching it you know when i said earlier that i was really sad that my other brush broke now i couldn't care less now because i got this one and this one's even better bleaching is the scariest part for me you have to work fast so that it all lifts evenly and you have to saturate well enough so that each strand is covered bleach doesn't lather so if you don't saturate well enough or if you miss a spot like it's gonna come out patchy and it's gonna look really ugly i've said this in all my videos and i'm about to say it again I am no professional, this is just me doing my hair at home for fun. I still lack the knowledge behind all these processes. I'm kind of just like plopping these chemicals into my hair and hoping for the best and that I don't mess up. I'm most definitely aware of the consequences of bleaching and overprocessing hair, you know. I've had my fair share when it comes to breakage, but it's all in good fun, you know. I genuinely enjoy doing it. I love having colorful hair. Wearing colorful hair has been my favorite accessory for the past six years, going on seven, dude. That's crazy. <laughs> Me as like a little emo child, like at 10 years old, my family really thought it was gonna be a phase, but nah, like I've been doing this for so long now. It's like, I can't imagine myself with a regular hair color, if that makes sense. Like, colorful hair is just me like even my friends they say like oh I, I can't imagine you with just brown hair like, that's crazy i don't know i'm just very lucky to have you know strong thick hair it could take a beating you know like <laughs> it hasn't fallen off yet anyways it took me about 35 minutes to fully apply it and then i let it sit for an extra 30 minutes i washed out the back first because it's been sitting the longest and i don't want like the back to be white and then the front to be yellow i kind of want it all to be the same color and then i started listening to grimes and i like started singing oh i'm so cute look at this bro you know what that reminded me of jlo can't sing <laughs> Mariah! Anyways, this is how it turned down. My hair is a nice, or my at least my roots, my roots are a nice piss yellow color. Oh, I love that shade. That's my favorite type of yellow. It looks really ugly because of the blue that I had and it wouldn't come out. But there's no way in hell that I was going to bleach it again. And the color was light enough anyway for the color that I was going, which was x the Super Purple. And this is me showing you Fireball by Pulp Riot. I really do be speed running this commentary. Like I'm rap godding this commentary. This was my first time using Pulp Riot straight out of the tube. I have used Pulp Riot before, but I would always mix it with other different types of dyes. And initially, I was gonna dye my hair just all purple, but I was like, nah, that's too boring for me. I usually have at least two colors in my hair anyway, so I was like, you know what? I'm gonna color block the red and the purple, do the rest of my hair purple, and then just leave my bangs red. Actually getting to dye my hair with these colors, like, it's my, it's my favorite part of this whole process. Like, now I'm actually calm, you know, I can take my damn time, like, I don't have to worry about- I can leave the colors in all day if I wanted to, and I wouldn't have to worry about my hair completely melting off. Nah, but that's not what I did. I only left it for about an hour after I finished applying the whole thing. X Mondo color jars are eight ounces each. I ended up using one full jar for the sections that I dyed purple. 
that wasn't even including my bangs like as soon as i got to the last section that i dyed purple i was literally scraping the jar <laughs> so that i would have enough color so thankfully i had enough and i made a smart move to you know dye my bangs a different color moving on to the red this looks kind of weird but i just put uh, tissue paper around my bangs so that when i dye it red it wouldn't bleed into the purple this is literally blood red dude and this color let me just tell you it gets everywhere i accident i accidentally dropped some on the sink my white sink and it's off now but it took some scrubbing i really did like this color though it was super easy to apply to if i had to compare the consistency to like other dyes it's not as thick as ex mondo but it's not as runny as manic panic it's definitely in between those two when it comes to consistency and let me tell you dude the smell oh my god the smell pulp right smells so good it reminds me of like how fun dip smells or what's that other thing it was like the the, the skinny like little paper tube uh oh <laughs> pixie sticks dude it reminds me of pixie sticks it smells exactly like that tell me why pixie sticks was like crack for kids bro okay me estoy pasando i should shut up now but look this is i already finished applying it and this is how it turned out uh -huh. Dude, I love how it turned out and I think it looks really cute with this hairstyle that I did. Bro, can you believe I did all this like without heat? Like I didn't use a curling iron or anything. All I did was when my hair was still wet, I curled it with my fingers. I pinned it to my head. I slept with it and then in the morning I took out those curls and I just like brushed it out. That's why some of them look really stupid, like really uneven. But then a lot of sections are like really nice tight curls and I think it looks really cool. I did use heat on my bangs though. I did use a flat iron to kind of like curl it under. My hair is relatively straight. It does wave in some areas, but I know my bangs especially, they dry really straight. Speaking of things being straight, this is how my hair looks straightened and then kind of like curled at the bottom, at the ends, at the <laughs> puntas. I don't know how to say it. This is also my hair three weeks later, so I've washed my hair four times at this point. So that's why my hair may look more faded. I just wanted to include how my hair looks curly and how my hair looks straight because I know some people want to see that. But yeah, I really love how this turned out. I'm looking pretty firme myself, you know. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time when I do something to my hair.